not exactly the tastiest thing to be sipping on at 7 a.m. But what's going on, guys? Good morning. Today we are hitting X. Today we are hitting X frame. X X frame on the body, right? I'll explain a little bit more what that is inside, but mostly to give you a little overview, it's shoulders abs and calves so if we draw a little x frame on our body the top of the x's right they're going to cross the shoulders where the x's cross the two lines cross hits the core and then the bottom is the calves so x frame working on that today right now guys gonna go in warm up and then jump into the first exercise so as i mentioned before right so x frame x frame if you have a good x frame it's a great foundation to any physique now you guys always hear me preach about proportional physique proportional physique everything in proportion and so this is why i love doing this i'll do this about maybe twice a month just have two days where i focus on the x frame especially since my shoulders in my opinion are a big weak point in my body like i think my chest and my triceps are pretty good shoulders could be lacking hamstrings lacking a little bit definitely calves so x frame is working on those shoulders the core and the calves so game plan for today guys is about three to four exercises for shoulders, two for calves, and then two for abs as well. So first exercise that we're starting off with, shoulder press. Shoulder press, biggest compound exercise for shoulder, hands down. So we're doing about two warm up sets and then we're gonna jump into four working sets. So six sets total, but for your warm up sets guys, make sure you guys have at least five to six reps left in the tank so you don't overtire yourself. But yeah, let's get right into it. For this exercise, whenever you grab the bar, make sure you grab it right here. Your palm should be right outside your shoulders. I don't like to put my thumb over the bar, so like this, I like to keep it out here. But it's whatever you feel most comfortable with. This is probably a bit more safer if you, put, if you do put your thumb over the bar. So if you're new to this, I would recommend trying that first. But yeah, just did our second warm-up set. Now we're gonna jump into some working sets. Now for these guys, we aren't doing strict barbell press, so we are giving a little bit of bounce with our legs to help us push more weight. But we gotta keep the core tight and the lower back tight to help, you know, help stabilize yourself, your entire body. You'll be able to do more weight doing this. So six to eight reps, guys, moving into our working sets. So one other really quick important thing is when you're driving, when you're driving a shoulder press, you gotta drive all the way forward. So when driving the bar up, you're coming forward. So mo most people when they drive the bar, they kinda drive it away from themselves or directly up. But when coming up, at the end, you wanna have your biceps right in between your ears. So that, keeping your core tight, keeping your lower back tight, and then a slight boost on the legs, those four things are very important for this exercise to get the most benefits out of this. So we got two more working sets, and then we're gonna move in towards our second shoulder exercise. All right guys, set number four. Last rep was a cranker, guys. Thought I could have got it. Should have kept pushing just a little bit more. <sighs> Those tiny regrets in the gym that you don't want to have like I have right now. But yeah, wrapped up that last set and moving on to the second exercise. All right, so jumping into that second exercise, still developing shoulders, still developing the top of that X frame. But yeah, so we're doing a superset for the second exercise. We're doing lateral raises along with rear deltoid flies. So get yourself a bench. You're gonna be on the bench the entire time. So lateral raises on there, just sitting upright, and then the flies. I'll show you guys how to do the flies when we get into the sets. But yeah, no more than 30 seconds rest on this. Just continuing to develop the top portion of the X frame. And yeah, like I said, guys, shoulders stand out so nice. If you ever look at someone and you see nice shoulders, stand out like right away. So just work at on building those.
All right, guys, so get into that last shoulder exercise. We're doing lateral flies again, but we're using cables on this. So cables keeping constant tension. And to add even more tension on this, we're doing two seconds down. So one second up and then just a regular on up motion. And then when coming back down, two seconds down at least to keep constant tension. Tension. You're really gonna feel the burn on your lateral head. And for me, I really wanna grow this lateral head. My interior is not bad, but I think lateral and rear could use work. So wrapping up on the lateral head. So four sets, eight to 10 reps, no more than 30 seconds rest just to keep that burn going. If possible, while doing these raises, the lateral raises, grab onto this and kind of move or hang on onto the direction of the raise you're gonna doing. You'll feel a better activation on the shoulder. So if I'm doing the right one, kind of leaning towards the right, or if I'm doing the left, leaning towards the left, just try it out, see if you like it. I really like doing this. I feel a better activation in the shoulder. But yeah, just did the first work instead. Three more, then we're gonna jump into abs and calves. Alright guys, so moving into the first ab exercise of the day that we're doing, we're doing reverse lunges. So get yourself a bench like this that kind of declines downwards. And then what we're going to be doing is, if you guys know the instrument, the accordion, like the one you unfold like this, that's what our body's going to be doing. So we're going to lay back on this, grab onto the top where the feet would usually go if you're doing regular crunches on this. Then we're going to fold our body inwards like that. Your lower back should only come up a little bit at the very top. So I'll show you guys in a sec. But bring, in all, bring your body all the way up, your legs all your lower body all the way up, squeezing your core. It's gonna activate your entire abdominal section. So this is a great exercise for building some nice abs. But it is kind of hard. So if you can't really do this, I would recommend just still use this same bench, but use it how you normally would use it. So just regular crunches. We're doing four sets of 12 reps on this. Crank them out, the last few sets are gonna be hard. We're gonna crank these out and then move into the second exercise. All right guys, for the second half exercise, just get yourself a mat, something to lay on to make your elbows comfortable, but we're doing side planks, so working on the obliques. If you have a nice obliques guy, it's gonna complement your ab even so much more than that, and already just having nice abs, but no obliques. So working on obliques, just doing four sets, about 30 to 45 second planks, I would say. You know, whatever you could do, try to do minimum 30 seconds, maybe a minute, I'll probably be pushing for a minute for four sets, maybe in that final one, I'll probably get like 35, 40 seconds. But yeah, just really cranking out on the obliques, second half exercise, let's get it. All right, so moving into the bottom X of the X factor, so the top X shoulders, the middle, the core, and then the bottom being the calves. Moving on to those, I honestly, to be honest guys, I have very weak calves, so I use very little weight all the time. Not very little, but just whatever fits me to where I could do 10 reps on this. But honestly, I'm gonna start doing calves four, four times a week just to grow these bad boys. But yeah, moving into calf raises, a big part of this is using your big toe when pushing up. That'll give you the best contraction. So you're using the big toe when pushing up and then doing about four sets of 10 to 12 reps. Calves are usually a little bit more high volume when you grow them. So about 12 reps, I would say. Yeah, we're just doing that, cranking those out, working on that bottom X now, guys. No joke when I say this, calf burn is like no other. Man, calf burn sucks so bad. But yeah, after this exercise, guys, we're gonna be moving into the final exercise. Finally made it to the bottom of the X frame. So anyways, last one guys, I would say get a Smith machine, or if that's not free, get a squat rack. Just get some type of barbell you can throw on your shoulder. Also, get a board. Most gyms have that type of board. There's something you could stand on. So basically what we're gonna be doing is calf raises, but on this. So kind of putting the bar on your shoulders, 
then putting your feet on that board and then just pushing up. You'll want your heels to go towards the ground, touch the ground a little bit, and then come back up. Again, using that big toe to push up. But yeah, final exercise, guys, we made it. So let's finish strong in this. Go heavy, I would say about go 10 reps on this, 10 to 12 reps, and then do four sets, no more than 30 seconds rest, keeping that calf burn alive. So let's get, it. let's finish hard. Calf burns insane, but that's a wrap. All right, guys, we are done here. Before we leave, check it out. Most active members, Roberto Vasquez. It's it's your boy, Roberto Vasquez. Thank you guys for watching the video. You know, if you guys use the tips, the tips, the tricks, whatever, etc., give the video a thumbs up. You know, you know, just support the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. You might as well if you're already watching the video. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.